In this presentation, we're going to look at convertible bonds and how we'd convert those bonds into common stock. So originally, we issued uh, convertible bonds and our bondholders now are holding these bonds. And what we want to do is we want to exchange uh, common stock for at least a portion of these bonds. And then the bondholders would return that portion back to us in exchange for that common stock. So here is our example here. We have a $100,000 worth of bonds payable. That's a liability here on the balance sheet. And that's based on a par value of $1,000 per bond and a quantity of 100 bonds outstanding. So uh, when we originally issued these bonds, we received $104,100 for them. So they were sold at a premium here. And we needed a, a balancing account here between the cash uh, of $104,100 and the bond payable of $100,000. So we set up this valuation account here, premium to bonds payable. Now that's an um, account that increases the bonds payable account. And then that valuation or that uh, premium to bonds payable, we recorded it at $4,100 here. So that was the balancing entry between the credit here of $100,000 and the cash amount here of $104,100. And now we amortize that premium of bonds payable down to this date that we want to convert them here. So we have to figure out what our carrying value is at the date that we convert these bonds. So in this case here, we had a premium amount here of $2,647, and then the net carrying of amount of that bond here was $102,673. So that's the figure we're going to work with here when we convert those bonds into common stock. All right, let's go through the mechanics of this bond conversion. And here we're going to use the book value method. Remember that, the book value method. So number one here, we're, the bondholders are going to convert $40,000 worth or 40% worth of the convertible bonds into the issuer's $5 par value common stock. And we'll calculate our numbers here. The number of bonds converted would be the $40,000 worth divided by $1,000 per bond or 40 bonds exchanged here total. And the number of common shares or common stock that we issue would be the 40 bonds. And in this case, we're going to issue a, the uh, bondholders 10 shares of common stock for each bond. So that would be a total of 400 common shares or common stock issued. So we go up here for our, our bond payable as our liability here on the balance sheet. and we reduce that by 40% or uh, decrease it by $40,000 here. Now this premium of the bonds payable would also be reduced by this 40% here and that would is based on whatever the carrying value is in this premium or discount at the time of conversion. So uh, that amounted to $1,069, that 40% of the carrying value here in this premium to bonds payable. So our total carrying value here of the converted bonds would be the $40,000 up here in the bonds payable plus this premium amount of $1,069 for $41,069. And of course that would be the same here as the $102,000 total times 40% or $4,169. Now in our common stock here and stockholders equity, we would increase that by the number of shares that we issued here are 400 shares times a $5 par value common stock for a value here of $2,000. Now our balancing entry here would be to additional paid in capital for the common stock and we'd increase that by the carrying value of the bonds less this par value up here. So we'd have the $41,069 here, the carrying value of the bonds that we converted, minus the $2,000 par value of that common stock we issued for a total of $39,069. So these are the journal entries here in the mechanics for exchanging uh, those bonds payable for common stock. All right, let's review what we've done here. And this is using the book value method here. So we've taken this bonds payable and premium to bonds payable, which is a liability on the balance sheet here, and we reduced it by the amount of the uh, bonds that we converted. And we did that through the uh, carrying value of the bonds payable and this premium to bonds payable, or its book value, and we, we reduced that. So we decreased the liabilities here on the balance sheet by $41,069. 
and then we issued common stock and that is part of stockholders equity on the balance sheet here so we issued it and we had a balance here of two thousand dollars par value and then the additional paid in capital to common stock here was based on the carrying value of the bonds less this par value of the common stock we issued so Again, we use the uh, book value or the carrying value here. So what we've done here is we increased the equity by $41,069. So we reduced our liabilities by $41,069, and we increased our equity by that same amount here. So we converted the bond's liability into a stock equity on our balance sheet.